In 1837, something was causing a stir at London Zoo. Their first orangutan, Jenny, was introduced to an astonished audience. Exotic animals were being brought to Britain from across the empire. Even Queen Victoria herself came calling. Jenny's arrival would challenge assumptions about what makes us human. Right, come this way, Michael. I'll introduce you to Batu. He should be waiting. There he is. There he is. Hello. This is Batu. Wow, he's big. This is Hello. very big. What a beautiful face. Very big and very strong. Right. Can I do this? I yeah, you... just be careful with the orange, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very delicately done. He doesn't want to drop it. <laughs> He's even ruder than my kids. <laughs> That's rude. Stop it. You could actually see that wonderfully sort of sullen look on his face. Yeah. That look of, mmm, don't mm. like that. It's a very human expression. <laughs> Bad behaviour. <laughs> oh, no. That's terrible. Ah. <sighs> What's wonderful is he's a great sense of independence. <laughs> Stop it now. So you've spat at me, you've played your game, what are you going to do next? <laughs> God, that's <was> smelly. <laughs> One of the visitors to the zoo was young Charles Darwin. But this isn't the familiar story about evolution. His visit to the zoo was part of his lesser-known research. Fascination with animal emotion. One day Darwin saw something that really astonished him. Jenny was playing with the keeper, and the keeper had an apple. And the keeper was taunting Jenny by waving the apple in front of her but not letting her get hold of it. And in Darwin's words, the ape threw herself on her back and cried precisely like a little child. Darwin became convinced that the expressions of emotion he saw in Jenny and in humans were the same. His research developed over 30 years. Tenderness, shame, Joy. He saw them all in animals. <laughs> 